we know that Sony is heavily invested in Tom Holland. He's their Spider-Man. They try to shoehorn him into a bunch of their Spider-Verse films, but they smartened up. He's also the star of their other film franchise that made $3 at the box office of Profit, a.k.a. Uncharted. And Oh, um, I, I completely had no idea what you were talking about then. Yes, yes. See, Uncharted happened, and everybody I was forgot. Like, it wasn't in Ghostbusters. We're talking about. No, yeah. <laughs> no, that made two dollars, not three. Yeah, it's, like, it's like for as like for as middling as Uncharted was, it did make some money. So yeah, yeah. it did. I Which, enjoyed um, Uncharted, ironically. I think Monster Hunter same. killed, like, burnt me out so badly <laughs> that I yeah. actually enjoyed Uncharted. Yeah. yeah, Uncharted's way better than Monster Hunter. Um, but Sony are. is obviously seeing writing on the wall, especially with how the industry is consolidating because we just learned and all the major trades and um, investor firms that would report on such things, you know, like CNBC and stuff are all confirming it. Mm -hmm. Sony is looking for partners. One of them is like Atlas media group, and there might be another one. Maybe we don't know the full story. Essentially Sony is going to set up partners and do a cash buyout of Paramount. Wow. From them trying to sell their own studios to them saying, maybe we can buy someone else. Yeah. I mean, I think we can attribute Sony staying afloat, and we really can, to Spider-Man's MCU deal and the PlayStation brand. And that saved them so much that they oh, can easy, actually yeah. do this. Yeah, because oddly enough that technically it is, especially with, I guess you could say, somewhat success from their... Uh, initiative to make their um, video game franchises live action or mm -hmm. um, a animated with some more um, video game adaptations coming pretty soon. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. And like, I'm looking at it right now. So Paramount's net worth, right, is only $6.84 billion. Like, <laughs> that is not a huge yeah. price to pay for. The amount of franchises you're just going to get, like, Sony automatically picks up Transformers, Mission Impossible, like G.I. Joe, all of Star Trek. Like it is you're, a... you're forgetting the funniest one. What, what am I forgetting? Sony will have Halo. Oh, Holy, oh gonna, my I, god. I, I <laughs> thought you were gonna go. I, I you like SpongeBob or something. <laughs> this is how we're gonna get Halo on PlayStation finally. Yeah. Oh my god. I completely blanked on that. So wow. did everyone else, don't worry. No, no one watches Halo. Hey! People only remember the Halo show because people are laughing at it because of every. I other. watch Halo. <laughs> oh, that's uh, like, that's great for me. The only thing, like I, I, like technically, like learn about what's been going on from like season one to season two is that, I think, like some of the video game directors came out and like said, "Oh, it's a different timeline, so this is why it's different," and then that's not what, what people wanted to hear. So. Yeah. No, Halo's get you... the treatment that The Witcher got from Netflix. Halo's getting it ten times as worse. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So like people yeah. like telling people what they want instead of trying to adapt yeah. it as the best they can. You know, when you try and do the fall of reach and not have a single Spartan in a suit, <laughs> you're kind of um... not going in the right direction. <laughs> so, there. You know what? Technically, then you just led on to why Sony's the perfect pick because they have Spider-Man films without. In Spider Man, yeah, but at least they look like they look like superhero movies for better yeah, reasons. Yeah. So John running around without a suit. So, like. I mean, Sony's probably gonna pull this off, and when this happens, I mean, I think that's kind of insane, right? Like, I mean, it's I'm surprised that they're looking at doing it simply because it's not them doing it outright, they're having to get other people in. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, hmm. why why are they doing this though? I, I so don't, just I don't quickly know, looking it up, sure. Sony would also gain Top Gun, Terminator, uh, the SpongeBob film series, Scream, the Ring franchise, uh distribution rights to other films that are from Disney and other catalogs, Friday the thirteenth franchise. I mean is this a big ploy? Actually, is it Paramount who has the whole credits? Uh, Universal. No, I was about to say, is this a big ploy from Disney to get the whole? <laughs> is this what? <laughs> yeah, right. 
yeah. it's this is a very very interesting position to be in because like paramount doesn't have a lot of big franchises but the ones they yeah. have are ones that they're converting into money and they know can deliver and there's more happening on some of these fronts so hmm, it'll be interesting because if you just think about it if sony gets their hands on like let's say mission impossible terminator and tmnt uh, the game possibility for terminator is there they just i mean the last one they put out is actually really great just like the last robocop game so like you're gaining some stuff here that's honestly kind of worth it especially for that low entry price so mm. i'm gonna see yeah, it's, um, it's an interesting so sony's but... net worth as of right now this month is a hundred point one billion so i mean yeah they dwarf paramount obviously and the reason they're probably looking for partner is because it is a straight up cash purchase which means they don't mm -hmm. have to dip into their assets making over a hundred billion which is why they're doing it so like the plan here makes sense to me um obviously the big question is what would their future be and what do they do and that's the big one like because then sony effectively does become saved right like them and paramount yeah. stay afloat and there is a chance of though there will be another consolidation down the road but Obviously. it buys them more time so you say you know wb's got to be sold off again so there's gonna, always gonna be another one i mean at this <laughs> point they've been, they've been trying for years man <laughs> yeah <laughs> they, they always get sold off it's still be fine who buys them who knows but i mean the way you're looking around. at it it's yeah. like if Paramount and Sony unite, then they both stave off a purchase. WB will, mm. Discovery is probably going to get folded into mm. Universal, or maybe Sony can position themselves for them and Paramount to join Universal because Amy Pascal went from Sony to be ahead of freaking Universal. So her connection is so deep with Sony. Like, this could I mean, be she a still huge... works for Sony as well. No? Exactly. Like, this could be a huge ploy to make Sony like Universal Paramount one giant global entity. And <laughs> that leaves Discovery just with WB over there in the corner kicking themselves again. But that's kind of I what mean, they do. Discovery so. suck. Like, yeah. Sky over here, do that Discovery Plus for free if you've got Sky. Oh, man. And um, it's like a lot of other. You know, like Paramount Plus, we get the same thing. You, mm -hmm. you know, our Netflix and Disney Plus go through Sky as well. Yeah, yeah. But the other day, we signed up for it, and it's telling us we can't watch anything because we have to upgrade. So it's like you're, <laughs> you're fine to make the account, but you have to actually do this to upgrade. And then it told us to like register the account, but it's not actually letting us register the account. It's saying there's a. There's wow, a that's terrible. And it's like cool. So we can't actually watch anything on Discovery Plus. Like that's. Hype. hype yeah no uh, well, well done discovery it's a uh -huh. that's great so i expect um, nothing less than Zaz left no. pretty much and i expect nothing less than sony than to at this point try to save themselves and i think they're gonna pull it off i do think they're gonna do this and yeah i can see them sticking around it'd be weird to think that sony's like a bigger part of that like, the big six or the big mm -hmm. four as it's gonna be too if this yeah. Goes through, but yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, it would be interesting to see what they do with everything. Yeah, like, how will? Because I assume they'll go more in on the turtles as well. Uh huh. Like Team and T. Oh my god! I mean, th this is you know Sony. Like the animated front of Sony is going to see a huge boost, and th I mean, th right now. If they're able to secure this buyout, let's say they land it and do the proposal by summer, it's such a small thing. It will be done by the end of the year because it's not as big yeah. as like the biggest conglomerates. Sony will on their hands then inherit the next Spider-Man animated film and the last Ronin and the upcoming video game. They can then make it exclusive and maybe even give it to one of their first party developers. Like. If Sony does this right and gets this completed by like March of next year before fiscal year, I mean, they got a TMNT wave of content that they can hit and put that Sony marketing push behind it. Mm -hmm. 
that's going to, uh, they're going to dump Ghostbuster straight up and never touch it again. That's oh, what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it's been yeah. too long. It has. It has. So th- things are looking good, in my opinion, here for what's going on, in all honesty. Mm. They're you know, in interesting times. So, uh, let's, uh, I'll enjoy watching how this unfolds. Yeah. Same. Same. So, um, We'll see. Uh, obviously, we're going to come back to talk more about this when and if it happens. Chances are it's going to happen. So we'll be mm-hmm. back um, rather soon. <laughs>